Today, I'll show you how to do your Pulse Chain crypto taxes. Hello, my name is Nelly. Welcome back to another wallet integration video. Today we're talking about Pulse Chain and specifically how to do your crypto taxes with the help of Coinly. So I'll tell you a little bit about them and then I'll jump into the integration, which is extremely straightforward in this one. And then I'll show you how to get the necessary tax documentation. As always, at the end, I'll leave a bunch of different resources down below. But without further ado, let's jump into it. So this is a quick one. Pulse Chain was founded in 2023. So this year, Pulse Chain is a Ethereum fork that is more efficient, faster, cheaper, and fee burning. This is according to their mission statement. So let me know if you've been using it this year. Alrighty, so first step as always, log into your Coinly account. If you don't have one, don't panic. You can create one completely free and follow along until the very end. Go into your wallets area and click on add wallet. And then we're gonna find Pulse Chain. And there it is. Just one small note before we jump further into this. Fork balances will not be imported at this time. You will need to manually add these deposits. So definitely keep that in mind. But now let me show you how to easily get the public address key. So it's as simple as going into the wallet that you're using and copying the public address. That's literally all you have to do. So currently I'm using MetaMask. If you're using a different wallet, you can follow pretty much the exact same procedure with maybe a minor um, thing that's different. So anyways, we're gonna go into MetaMask. There is the public address key. Simply copy it, paste it into Coinly, click, click import, and it's as simple as that. Okay, so once you've clicked import, that information is going to go directly into Coinly. And then in the transactions area, you can see exactly underneath the hood what's going on, making sure that your transactions are sitting correctly, looking looking good. And uh, if you have any types of staking, make sure things are tagged, send to pool, send from pool. We've talked about that countless times on this channel. And then we're gonna go into the tax report area for one final summary of your crypto activities throughout the year. So once you're in your tax reports area, you can see everything, a final summary of all your transactions, deposits, withdrawals, capital gains, income, costs and expenses. Once you're happy with everything you see there, scroll on down and select a tax report appropriate for your needs. And we have plenty of different documentation. So for the US, we have the IRS Schedule D Form 8949. You can also export TurboTax, both desktop and online versions. For the UK, we have the HMRC Capital Gain Summary. We have reports for Sweden, Norway, France, Switzerland, Australia. And then lastly, Canada, Germany, and other countries, we have the complete tax report, which keep in mind is a document you can print off and give directly to an accountant if you like, and they will combine it with your other tax documentation. Or you can invite them to Coinly to set up their accountancy firm here with us. Last, um, as, as I always say, check your country's rules and regulations because this tax report might be deductible. But that'll about do it for today's video. If you need further assistance, a bunch of different resources down below, starting off with the Coinly Help Center where we have countless different crypto tax related articles. We have the uh, forum section where you can talk to members of our community as well as our staff. We have a feedback section where you can, you know, if you have any problems with our software, you can leave your concerns there. And then we have a contact section. If you need further assistance, we'd love to get back to you. So just send us a message and we'll do that. Um, but I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, consider dropping a like, subscribing for more crypto content, and I'll see you next time. Peace.